All right, everyone, here are my thoughts on this pandemic part four. Now this pandemic has created certain needs in the lives of the people that it affects, which is most of humanity. Um, and today I'd like to talk about kindness and why it's more important now than it has been in other years. Kindness is a seed which is durable and finds fertile soil, even in the most depleted of circumstances. So, you know, kindness can take a lot of forms. It's very vague when you think about the word. In what ways are people being kind? Should they be kind? A lot of it has to do with the little things. Getting extra toilet paper or paper towels for friends or family who can't go out if they're sick, but uh, if, especially if they're sick, but um, who just can't get to the store or are afraid to go. Gather materials for other people. Canned food as well, though it's not as much in need, but hand sanitizer, disinfecting towels, and, um, and various other um, resources that people are afraid to go get or people are really hard pressed to find. Um, gathering those for friends and family is a great way to, uh, to spread kindness in a time that needs it. So at times of isolation and need like this, kindness is paramount. So we feel especially isolated right now. It's best to basically create yourself a network, an online network, or perhaps even a phone call network between you and the people that you know um, for support. It isn't always easy to get foundations to create these networks for us because we, we have friends and family that need support emotionally and spiritually, but um, there's no really foundation you can go to to create it. So you have to do it for yourself. Facebook chat groups, you know, adding many people to a text group, um, making a list of people that you should call at this time and people, especially people that you think do not have anybody else to talk to. Sometimes, you know, acquaintances, people you barely know, these are the times to really think about them and ask, you know, do they have anybody else? And if they don't, try to reach out to them. Kindness is always wise. And just like it can take root in any soil, it, it, it does so because there is strife all around. And also, there can be levels of kindness within places that it's that there's a lot of kindness. No matter what circumstance you find yourself in, kindness is always a good policy. And, um, you know, this isn't said enough, but kindness is honorable. It's not a weakness. It's honorable to be willing to share yourself with other people when you don't have to. To support other people when you don't have to. To go out of your way to be the kind of person that people need. That is honorable. It's its own measure of strength, when, especially when you don't have to. Let's say you don't have the same needs as other people. Show the strength to provide of yourself to others, despite the fact that you might not need what you're providing to them, especially, especially despite that fact. Um, you know, it was interesting. Today when I was at work, um, my aunt, she is having a birthday, you know, a birthday for her birthday is coming up. And the sad thing is, which really is really indicative of what we're experiencing now, what she wants for her birthday, which is very different than what she usually wants, is hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes. Um, you know, I never thought I'd hear that from her. I never thought that I'd come to that point. But these things are so hard to find. And I was able to procure some through the kindness of another person. So the way I procured... A bottle of hand sanitizer, you know, the squirt kind that's got the pump. Um, you know, I asked a fellow employee, I was like, hey man, just if you're ever over there in that section of the store, because I work at a different section, um, and you see hand sanitizer, let me know. I'll give you a few bucks. If, if you know, just to tell me that we have it and that I can buy it now. Not saying that he buys it for me, but that I can go buy it. It's on the shelf now. And uh, he's like, oh, okay, just, you know, come with me. And then I'm following him into the back hall. And we're going back there. I'm like, why am I following you again? I mean, I was just asking if, uh, you know, when you see it, let me know so that I can buy it. He's like, oh, just come on, come on. So this guy's very tall. He's about six, six. 
Um, he's between six and seven feet tall at the very least. So he goes to this part of the hallway and there's this beam above. There's It's about 10 feet up, maybe more. And it's a beam across the uh, the hall behind, you know, the, the rest of the store. He jumps up and just on top of the beam, he grabs this bottle of hand sanitizer. And, and then he's like, here you go, man. I bought this a few weeks ago, but, um, you know, you can have it. And I'm like, all right, here, I'll pay you. And he's like, no, 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 don't, don't worry about it. Uh, you can have it. And I'm like, don't you need it? And he's like, no, nah, not really anymore. I bought it a couple weeks ago and I just put it up there. Um, it was very nice because a lot of people were wanting that. And, uh, and he probably should have, you know, wanted to keep it for himself, but he didn't. He just gave it to me for free. And he had one of those masks on that has the uh, the filters on it, like the small filters, not the huge ones. And uh, he's like, no, I don't really need it anymore. I, you know, I got this and uh, I feel like I'm okay. So uh, with that amount of kindness, just randomly, he gave me that bottle of hand sanitizer that I'm going to pass on to my aunt on her birthday. Um, <laughs> this feels very strange because in the United States, we're not used to having shortages like this. It's a very strange shortage to have. And I work in a grocery store and I still can't get a hold of it. Um... Same thing with toilet paper and paper towels for a lot of places. It's weird because the most affluent places seem to, the stores over there and the stores that are other, uh, the same grocery store that I work at, in rich places they have the uh, the products that people are demanding. But for some reason in middle class and lower, um, our stores don't. And we're upper middle class too. We're not even like, we're not even like lower middle class. You know, none of it should matter, but it does, unfortunately, in a capitalistic society. But those stores always seem to have enough. And I, I wonder how that how that is decided in the bureaucracy of a grocery store uh, business. Um, at any rate, that simple kindness was, was amazing. And that simple kindness allows me to transfer that resource to my aunt, who uh, really, really wants it, is in need of it. So kindnesses like that are amazing. Um, now kindness benefits the gifter and the receiver. So not even just talking about coronavirus, but this applies to the coronavirus p pandemic as well, COVID-19. Uh, when you give something to somebody else and you're not really interested in getting anything in return, you're just doing it to be nice. That creates, and if you keep on doing it, you know, do it several times, give it a shot, several, several times a week. Eventually you get to a state to where you're not focused just on yourself, but you're focused on seeing other people as a part of your reality. It's no longer dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's about seeing the connection between us all and transferring the people uh, to the people who need it most, the resources that they have least access to. Um, I've seen this multiple times in, uh, in recent months, and... I've tried to provide as much as I can for my family and my extended family. Um, but I do feel bad because a lot of the time, you know, I have access to materials that other people don't. And then when they come into the store, I already bought <laughs> what uh, I'm providing for my extended family. So in, in some instances, it's uh, you really got to think about priority. What And this is a really good armchair philosopher question. What is the relationship between your priority, between those and the, those that you know, um, and what you're willing to leave for the rest of society when it comes to resources? So it's very important to ask this question. Um, there's an old saying in the Mahabharata that says, when we prefer our children to the children of others, war is near. This doesn't just apply to, you know, militaristic warfare. This applies to many different facets of life. And once you reach that point where you're more of a, a, a giver of gifts and you're not focused on getting anything back, you will, you will achieve this, this inner peace. And uh, something like that actually combats fear. Since you're more focused on some other people than just yourself, uh, fear is not placed in a single body. It is concern for the grander whole which is a much wonder, a much better state to be in. It's a much more wonderful um, state of being to entertain rather than just fear for one's own uh, ability to satisfy resources and uh, consumption. 
it isn't it isn't easy to be in a society where everything is just provided and then we get to a point where like oh okay these things aren't available anymore i don't mean it's not easy for me i've had it pretty easy but there's a lot of people out there in the united states especially we're like these resources we've never had a problem getting them before this is so weird we're having to readjust then that's where the fear comes in fear is the enemy to kindness and sometimes we have to be willing to bear the brunt of a lack so that the grander whole can have a bit more that can be re redistributed in the proper ways through the proper supply and demand channels um, it's it's just it's very important to think about kindness at times like these. Um, we haven't experienced a pandemic in over a hundred years, and this is a new this is new territory for everybody alive today. Very new territory, but I would urge you just keep kindness in mind. It is not a weakness. It is not. It is not dishonorable. It doesn't mean you're not strong. Kindness is the opposite of all those pitfalls. It's the opposite of dishonorable. It's the opposite of weakness. It's the opposite of, of fear. Uh, and fear itself, it always bears its head when resources are, are hard to obtain. At any rate, keep kindness in your hearts. Keep kindness in mind. Don't push yourselves too hard. Try to remain safe. Love those around you, but also extend your circle greater and greater so that you love even more people beyond those you usually talk to, the usually converse with, or your family members. At any rate, thank you very much for watching. This has been um, my thoughts on this pandemic part four, and I hope to see all of you on the channel in the future, and I hope that this helped at least a little bit. All of you, have a wonderful and safe day.